Okay, today I want to talk about the install events. Now, this is largely a Chrome specific thing or Chrome based. So Chrome, Chromium, the Blink based browsers, and that is Chrome, Edge, and Opera. So those three will be able to use these events. When something is running on iOS, though, it's important to note here. Um, Apple insists that everything that runs on iOS, all the browsers that run on iOS, use Safari WebKit for their JavaScript engine. And that means that you're not going to get the same features that you would normally in Firefox or Chrome. You're going to get whatever Safari has. So it is a smaller subset of things that you can do on iOS. Um, we're going to be talking about how to install things. So right now, because I'm in Chrome, I can install this on the desktop. So Chrome, Opera, Edge, that same three, those will allow you to install things on the desktop. Uh, Firefox announced not too long ago, a couple of months ago, I believe it was, that they have stopped any work towards letting Firefox install applications on the desktop. Um, Safari won't let you do it on the desktop either. So on desktop, it's just these three, Chrome, Edge, and Opera. On mobile, we've got Chrome, Opera, Edge, Safari, Firefox. All of those work. So all of those you've got on Android, you've got them on iOS. On Android, they're using their own engines. On iOS, they're using Safari, but Safari will let you install a PWA on iOS. Okay, so what are we doing here with these events? Let's jump into the code. I have my same basic starter. So DOM content loaded. When that happens, when the web page is loaded, we're going to go and fire this init function. So up inside of here, this is where I'm checking to see if service worker exists. If it does, then I'm going to install. I'm going to add a listener for the message uh, coming back from the service worker. That's done. Those are regular PWA things. I also have this property here. Now, this is the Chrome Edge um, Opera one. This property is going to be able to hold on to the install event. Right now, you'll see I've got this little icon that's showing up. It's very, very tiny on my screen. So if you're watching this on mobile, it's going to be really, really tiny. This is the install prompt. I can click on that. It's going to bring up a little dialog and say, hey, do you want to install this app? So I've met the requirements for installing. I'm going to get this thing. But we don't always want to have the user be prompted when the page first loads, as soon as this is ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab hold of the event and we're going to say, hang on to that. So later on, we can do the same thing by somebody clicking on a button to make this dialog appear. All right. This is the before install prompt event. So this is the one that we're going to listen for. This is built into Chrome in the Blink engine. When you are meeting all the requirements to install a PWA, it's ready to display this little message when you come to the page saying, hey, okay, do you want to install this app? We can hang on to that. This is going to be triggered when we've met all the requirements to install. So we're going to grab this event and we're going to save it. We're going to stop it doing its normal thing. Now, it no longer will always pop up the dialog to say, hey, do you want to install this? It now, I think last year was when they made the change. I can't remember which version of uh, Chrome it was, but now it just displays this little icon to say, hey, you can install this if you want. And I think it expands and displays a little message saying that you can install this. You're allowed to, but it's no longer a big dialog that appears. We want that big dialog, but we want to have it show up when we're ready for it. So prevent default. This is for older versions of Chrome. If they're using that to prevent it popping up right at the very start, if they're using an up-to-date version of Chrome, that's not going to happen. So we're going to come in here. We're going to save that event. My property that I created up here, this is where I'm going to save it. So we'll just say app, that's my namespace, dot this equals EV. There we go. I've now saved it. And we can add that in here. So we can say console.log saved the install event. It's the before install prompt, but I'm just going to call it install event. All right. We get the message. Save the install event. Great. 
So I now can use that at some point in the future. I'm going to use this as my trigger. So when I click on this button, install app, I want to see the dialog appear. Or if you're on Firefox and Safari, or if you're on iOS, you can use that uh, bit of code that I showed in the previous video to determine, hey, was this launched from iOS or Android or desktop? You can use that code to just decide what it is that you want to do. And if you want to show this button, if you want to show some instructions on how to install it, whatever it is that you want to do. Right now, I just want to click this button and see the dialog on Chrome and Opera and, and Edge. So what we're doing right here is I'm finding that button. This is the install button in my HTML. Right here, this button that says install app in the browser, this one right here. When the person clicks on this, I want to show the dialog. So I'm using my optional chaining here to say, okay, if button exists on the page, what we're going to do is we're going to call this one, this function right here, my start Chrome install. And it's always good to check and make sure that this was actually put in there. Good coding practice. So if that thing exists, it means I have done this. I've put the event into that property. Now we can run it. Run the function that is. So you've got it. Inside of here, I'm going to check for something. I want to see exactly what that event is. So we've got the latest version. Great. I click on the button and here is the event. This is the before install prompt event right here. Um, there's a property called platforms, which will tell you sort of where you are, if it's web or play or mobile. Um, I don't like to rely on this. I prefer to do my own testing to see when it launched, whether what the display mode was that I did in the previous video. But once I have that, we're going to get down to this right here. There is a property called user choice, which is a promise. This right here, this user choice property is the thing that comes back when the person clicks on install or ignore. So the dialogue that would appear here when we click on this, that's going to have the two choices. And this is the promise for whenever they've clicked on one of those two buttons. So it will wait until, until they've actually clicked on those things. There's a method in here as well called prompt. And I think that may... Yeah, here it is right here. So it's in the prototype. There's the prompt method. This is the one that we're going to call. This method is going to make the dialog appear. So we can say app.deferred install. That is our event object. And we're going to call its prompt method. That is going to make our dialog appear. So refresh the page click on the button and there it is this is the dialog and we'll see this on android mobile for chrome edge opera or on desktop for chrome edge and opera so we get this dialog and here's the two buttons cancel and install those are the ones that we want to get the answer back from that user choice property is going to have a value of accepted or canceled so we will check for this. We'll say app.deferred install user choice. This is our property and it returns a promise to us. So we'll chain on a then. This is the answer. This is whatever they've clicked on. So whatever their choice is, when this function runs, if the choice object it has a property inside of it called outcome. If that is equal to accepted, then and if they cancel, we're talking about having to go into the permissions to let them try it again. 
So we have the latest one. Make sure refresh that. Install. It appears. And I'm going to hit cancel here. So they canceled. Now, if I do this again, there we go. Now I can click on install and this will actually do the installation of the app. There we go. And here's our PWA that's now running as its own standalone app. There we go back to our regular app. And you'll see I no longer have the icon here to install the app. Instead, we have this link right here that allows me to open up the app. So I can click on that and it knows that this URL was installed. So we can open the app from here if we want, or we can just continue to use it as a website. Now there's one other event. I do have it in the code here, the app installed event. This is an older event, which has actually been deprecated from the standard. It still exists. It's still there in Chrome and Edge and Opera. All the browsers that support the before install prompt, it's still there. But it's not very useful. Um, it's much better if you use this down here, what we're doing to decide whether or not the person has actually installed it. Um, once they've installed it, the web page is going to open as a progressive web app. And then, well, we've got a DOM content loaded event, which is going to fire. It's going to run this bit of code right here. So anything that you wanted to do during the setup, do it here in this init event, because this is going to fire and run inside of that installed app. This is what we want to do. We want to have that code where we're checking, how was this thing launched? Oh, it was launched as a PWA. Great. And because we can do all that, there's not a lot of use for it, but you may come across this in some code samples, and that's what this event is all about. One last thing about um, installing and uninstalling. Right now, I've got this link, which if I click it and I open it, okay, here we go. I've got this app installed. Now I can go to the folder where it was installed and I can delete the file from there. But Chrome still won't recognize the fact that I've actually uninstalled this. If I come back in here and I open this up, I'm always going to have this little thing right here. It doesn't matter if I actually delete the file, the installed app. What I need to do is from here, I have to go in and I have to uninstall sample app. I'll get the prompt and I'll say remove. Once I've done that, I've still got this here. But once I've done that, if I refresh, now this should change back to the install icon again. So I'll be able to test this again. Because if it is installed, this button is not going to do anything. It's not going to show the dialog. It's going to say, hey, you've already got it installed. So don't try to do this again. If you want a copy of this code, there's a link to it down in the description. If you have any questions about this, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll answer as many as I have time for. And as always, Thanks for watching.